Hello everybody, today we're going to be going through my entire Rubik's Cube collection. So every year on the last day of the year, I make a video on my entire cube collection throughout the year. This has been collected since the start of 2017. So if I've counted correctly, that was about 95 cubes, which is a huge improvement from my cube collection from last year. I've gotten a lot more, especially 3x3s with 30 3x3s. So starting with 2x2, we have a total of 8. So starting us off, we have the Angstrom Wapo M. I bought this back in August of 2018 at the Cubicles Warehouse when I was in America. Turns really nicely, magnet strength is nice. Overall pretty solid cube, it is my current main. Next we have the Chuen, which I put custom stickers on. This was my main for a while, it's not too bad, it's a bit sluggish now. The Kung Fu 2x2, this was my first ever 2x2, all the way back in 2017. Turns pretty badly now, but yeah, it was my main for a pretty long time actually. Next is another Chuen, which I tried to magnetize. This is my first ever attempt at magnetizing a cube, and it went pretty horrible. Uh, I got the polarity mixed up, so as you can see here, it doesn't click in the actual spot. So yeah, it doesn't turn that well either, but I mean, it was first attempt. I tried, it went alright, not really. Next we have the Mei Long 2x2. This is actually such a nice cube, like this is easily my backup main. It like turns really smoothly, and it can't, it can corner cut sort of, but like it sort of locks up a bit. But it turns really nicely and you can like really easily spam algs. Here we have what I believe to be a Guanlong, which is pretty bad and you can't turn it fast or else one of the internals will pop out. I remember I spent about three hours trying to put it back when I first got this. Yeah, it's pretty bad. The internals always pop out and like, I really don't want to turn fast on this cube. Here we have the Yushin Little Magic. This is also a pretty nice cube, sort of similar to the Meilong. And finally we have the Cubicle Labs Wapo M, which I got for Christmas this year. It turns similarly to the Angstrom Wapo M, however it's a bit slower, which is why I prefer the Angstrom Wapo M. But yeah. And that's 2x2 two two done. Okay, now on to 3x3s. So, this has changed dramatically throughout 2019, mainly because of multi-blind, needing a lot of cubes for big attempts. But I never thought it would jump from like 10 to about 30. I'm pretty sure it was about 10 that I had last year, but now I'm at 30, which is absolutely insane. So let's just get right into it. First, we have six Yushin Law Magics, four in stickerless, two in black. All turn pretty nicely. All purchased for the same reason, and that's for multi. This one's probably the worst one out of all of them, because it's been here the longest. But they turn pretty nice nonetheless. Here we have two Meilong 3x3s, this being the Meilong C, which is meant to be the updated version of the Meilong, and here we have the regular Meilong here. In my opinion, I prefer the Meilong over the Meilong C, because this turns more fluidly. Like this one, I believe they attempted to make it more stable, but it didn't really work well. This isn't as stable, but it's really fast, which I kind of like. And you can actually turn well instead of the Meilong C. Here we have two M3S 2Ms. This is a Cubicle Labs version and this is a custom magnetized one. The Cubicle Labs version was my main for a really long time. I really liked it. I got my official 7.69 single in comp with this. It is an insane cube. It's really nice to turn. Magnet strength as well. But I ended up switching mains to the World Record M. And this is my custom magnetized, which actually went pretty well until the orange side got stripped and I ended up losing the center cap on the white side as well. So I haven't used this in a while, but it turns pretty nice. I did a good job with the magnets, and setup went pretty well as well. And here we just have two regular MF3S2s. Next to two Volk puzzles, we have the regular Volk 3, which was actually one of my first best speed cubes. I was using this pretty much from March of, no, not March, May of 2017 to about end of 2017. Yeah, it's a really nice cube, turns very well. And then the Volk Elite I got just recently and is an amazing cube. I really love turning it, it's super smooth. This is my backup main to the Thundercloud version 3M, just because it catches up a bit. But nonetheless, it's a superior cube to like many other speed cubes out there. Here we just have two mini MFJS 3x3s that are 50mm. Turn pretty decently I guess, but they're just mini cubes. 
Here we have the Shang Shao Gem 3x3. Alright, Budget Cube. Doesn't corner cut well. And I don't like black internals, but it's a Budget Cube. Here is the Guanlong 3x3. This turns really nice. It's actually super smooth. Overall, this is actually a really nice cube. Pretty good Budget Cube. Here we have a Novelty 3x3 with an interesting scheme, I guess you could call it. It looks pretty cool. Definitely a cool collector's item. It's got like silver for the white side and just some circles I guess to highlight the colors doesn't turn nice but it's a cool novelty cube next up is the MF3 RS3 this is not better than the MF3 RS2 in my opinion but I really do like the performance of it, it turns pretty nice it definitely does require set off but it turns pretty nicely corner cuts decently decent cube here we have my first ever speed cube, the YJ Guanlong, which I got Felix to sign at my second ever competition. It's a pretty bad cube, I haven't really used it at all. Here you have some market cube that was my cousin's that he gave to me, I don't even know where it is but it turns pretty badly. Here we have the Wu Wei M, this is a really nice puzzle, it's sort of similar to the Volk Elite. It turns really smoothly and has very good magnets. However, again, like the Volk Elite, this sort of catches a lot a bit. It's a very good cube though, would definitely recommend. Next is the Yulong version 2M. Another great budget cube out there, turns nicely. Clicks into place pretty well, it's a bit loud. But I definitely like this cube a lot, it's very nice. Next up is the Cyclone Voice Feiku. This is a bit special, it's got tiled pieces instead of stickered. It is extremely loud, which I do not like, but it turns pretty nicely. The tiles feel a bit weird, but it's not that bad. But it's just very loud and annoying, but it turns pretty nicely, I guess. Here we have the Meilong Timer Cube, so this is pretty cool. It's a timer cube where you hold down the button and the timer starts. Uh, it's not actually working right now. But it's a pretty cool novelty cube, again, other cool collectors. It's a really cool idea as well. Here we have the Chi Warrior S, so this is the updated version of the Warrior W I believe. It turns really nicely, it's sort of the same vibe as the W, but this turns a lot more faster and a bit more flexible as well. But yeah, pretty cool. Here we have the GAN 356 SM, this was my main for quite a while. It also has my custom stickers as well which is pretty nice. Probably my best memory with this is getting my PB single at Niagara Falls, that was pretty cool, 7.34. Here we have the World Record M by Moyu. This was my main for a bit, it is an extremely good cube. Turns super smoothly, it's a bit flexible which is kinda why it's not my main, but it is absolutely incredible. It turns super nicely, corner cuts well, and it's just really nice to turn overall. Also I forgot to mention this is my main for one handed as well. And lastly, the Thunderclap version 3M, my current main for 3x3 and blindfolded. It is an incredible cube, turns really nice. It's a bit less flexible than the world record M, however it still turns very nicely. I got my first ever sub 6 on this cube, 5.33 seconds, which was absolutely insane. I'm getting insane times on this cube as well, I absolutely just love it. I managed to get sub 10 with this cube as well, which is pretty cool. So that's all my 3x3s done, now onto the 4x4s. So we have a total of 7 4x4s here. Starting us off, we have the Chiyon 4x4, I believe that's how you say it. 4x4, it is pretty bad to be honest. This was my first ever 4x4, and it was my main for quite a bit. However, it's just really slow now, I'm pretty sluggish. I lost an internal for this as well. Uh, I'm not sure if I can find it, but it's somewhere in here. I've, I've lost the internal for it, and it turns really badly overall. But it was pretty good while it lasted. Here we have two MF4s. So this was this one was my main for a while. I ended up getting my first sub one single on it. It turns actually pretty decently. It can't corner cut at all. But it turns pretty good for a budget cube. Here we have the Wuchui, which I'm self-magnetized myself. The magnet strength is incredibly strong. Like, if you've ever tried this 4x4 in person, you know how strong it is. It is absolutely insane. But it was my main for quite a while. I actually got my former national record for blind mean with this. I know, I don't know how I used this at all, but it is insanely strong. 
but main for quite a while. It was pretty good. Still is kind of good, but it's just really strong. Here we have the Yusu, which is a very nice cube. It's sort of like the budget version of the Alsu, I guess. It turns really nicely. The magnets are quite light, which I kind of like. I like how it sort of has a bumpy sort of texture to it as well. It feels kind of nice. Overall, really nice cube. It's like $16 or $20, I don't know. It's really cheap and it's so good. Very nice cube, would recommend. Next, we have my backup main, the Wuchui Mini M. This is my main for quite a bit. Turns pretty nicely, similar to the Wuchui. But yeah, really nice magnets, really nice setup as well. I set this up with some Lubical Silk and it turns very nicely. And lastly, we have the Alsu GTS 2M, my current main for 4x4. This turns extremely well, it sort of, it's got sort of bad corner cutting, I don't know, it feels really blocky to me, but it turns super smoothly and like it's such a nice cube. I have an official 35 average with this cube, which was PB by 2 seconds at the time, and overall it's such a smooth cube. I also have a 4 minute 5 uh, 4 blind single in comp with this, definitely the best 4x4 out there. I know a lot of people use this cube, but I can see why it's so good. If you're looking for a top 4x4, this is definitely the way to go. So 5x5, I managed to upgrade to 4 this year. Starting us off, we have the Yushin 5x5. This was my first ever 5x5. It turns pretty bad, to be honest. But it was my main for quite a while. I managed to get my first ever 5 blind success, and it was in comp as well. It's still my PR to this day. With this cube. So yeah, pretty bad 5x5. Pretty much wouldn't recommend this. It'd be better off to get another one. Here we have the Yushuang 505, which I got for Christmas last year. Honestly, it turns quite bad. I feel like I didn't break it in or set it up enough. But I'm not that experienced with setting up big cubes. Yeah, this turns pretty badly. It can't really corner cut well, and it's just sort of slow overall. So I was stuck with those two 505s for more than a year, until I got these two, the Yushin Little Magic and the Yuchuang. The Yushin Little Magic M was insanely nice, still is. It, after setup, it became really smooth and it could corner cut a bit better. It turns really nicely, so obviously this is my backup main. But now my current main, the Yuchong V2M. It is just like the Yusu, it's super nice. Very great option for a budget cube, it turns super smoothly, you can execute algs quite fast. As long as you don't pop into issues like these, it's really fun to solve and overall just turns really nicely. And I enjoy solving on this, it's so good. Onto 6x6 and 7x7, we have what I believe to be the Chi Mang 6x6, I'm not quite sure. It was Chi's budget 6x6, which I got from a package from Daily Puzzles. It turns alright, it's not too bad I guess, but it's a bit slow, which I don't like. And my MF6, which is probably just as bad as the Chi budget cube, which sadly is my main. Haven't managed to upgrade 6x6s, but yeah, this one can't corner cut that well. It's pretty annoying to turn, it's super rough to turn. But yeah, that's my 6x6s. 7x7 we have the Z-Cube Cloud series, which I had this for a very long time. It turns alright now I guess, but it, like the MF6 it's really rough to turn, but it's not as bad. The MF6 is just really annoying, but this turns really nicely. And this is only 9 US if I'm not mistaken, it's absolutely insane, under $10 US for a 7x7. And finally, the Yufu version 2M, my main for 7x7. Like all the other U-Cubes in this collection, it turns insanely nice, it's super smooth to turn. It has lockups like the Yuchuang, but it's so nice to turn. And those are all of my end by end puzzles. Here we have my three clocks, so we have my first ever clock, which turns really badly, it's like super annoying to turn, very rusty. Here we have my attempted magnetization of a clock, which went awfully bad. Um, it actually barely turns, like, it only turns on some sides, like that, but it's absolutely awful. But here we have my current main, which I've had for over a year now, it turns really nicely. It's super easy to turn, it used to be really smooth as well, I mean it's not too bad now, but it just turns really easily, which is very good. I have a 7.93 average in competition with this, which is currently 6 in Oceana, which is pretty good. So here we have Mega Minx, we have 6 in total, 3 of them which are Chi Hangs, or Chi's, it's pretty sure it's Chi Hang. Uh, Mega Minxes, 2 in Stickerless, 1 in Black. Uh, pretty decent budget cube I guess, 
Uh, it was actually my main for quite a bit. I mean, it's not too bad, but I wouldn't recommend getting it until I got the Yushin Little Magic. This one turns alright. It's sort of smooth, but a bit blocky. The color scheme's a bit darker than normal, but this turns pretty decently. I, I like the smoothness of it. It's a bit blocky, but it was pretty good while it lasted. Next is my backup main, the Gan Megaminx. This turns super nicely. If you can hear the turning, it is just amazing. It's so smooth to turn, and it's such a breeze. Like, tell me that it just it just sounds so nice, and it's just really nice to turn. Really like the Gan Megaminx, however, it's not my main, as the MGC is my main. This turns really nicely. The magnets click a lot better into place. You can hear the clicking pretty well. It's not as smooth, but it's really a breeze to turn. I would definitely recommend purchasing the MGC Mega Minx. I'm pretty sure it's only 35 to 40 dot AED. It's a really nice Mega Minx. It's so good. And now on to Pyraminx. So I have four, which has stayed the same except for this one here. Starting us off, we have a uh, pretty sure it's a Rubik's brand. It's so bad. Like the sides are so inconsistent. One turns faster than the other. The tips are pretty bad too, like this this tip is super loose. But yeah, this turns quite bad. Pretty bad color scheme as well, I don't really like it. Here we have the DNA Pyraminx by Chi. This is a really cool mod that I like. It's a bit weird to turn, but it just looks really cool. It's just really nice. I like the idea of this. The Moyu Magnetic Pyraminx, I got this back in 2017, and it was my main for quite a bit. This is also my custom sticker shades. Very nice puzzle, it's very clicky, as you can probably tell, but I sort of didn't like it as it's a bit like, flexible, it's not too stable, which I don't really like. So that's pretty much why I got the X-Men, as it's super stable, and quite smooth at the same time. I also like the magnets for this, it's pretty strong, which I kind of like, just clicks into place pretty well. See, so we have Scube. We have three here. Starting us off, we have the regular Chi Speed Scube. It's actually not too bad. Like, it turns pretty nicely. However, if you solve too fast, it can pop easily. Like, I've experienced many pops on this. I even did it at Australian Nationals 2017. It was pretty funny, but it turns alright, I guess, but the pops are quite annoying. Next is the Cyclone Boys Magnetic Scube. This is really nice. Easily back up main. It turns super smoothly. It's got some pretty nice lube in there, and the magnets are pretty good as well. I think there's only 12 AED as well, so yeah, that's pretty good for a scoop. And finally, we have my current main, the Wingy M. I've had this for a while now. Turns really nicely. Also, the first concave scoop as well, which is a great idea, because as you can execute algs a lot faster. Pretty cool scoop. Kind of like it. It's very good. Uh, I've lubed this with lubricant silk many times as well. And it turns really nicely. Okay, so here we have our square ones. So, starting us off, we have, um, it's a YJ one. I'm pretty sure it's YJ Guanlong square one. It's very, like, catchy and can't corner cut well. It's just very annoying to turn, very slow as well. But it was my first square one and I had it for a while. Next, we have the Chifa square one, which is actually a really nice square one. It's sort of smooth, I guess. I haven't really broken it in much, but it turns really nicely and I really like the the feel of it, and overall, like, even primary internals as well, looks really nice. Here we have the X-Men Vault Square one, which is my backup main, and was my main for quite a bit. It turns pretty slowish, it's kinda why I switched. It turns, it turns decently, but it's really slow, which I don't like. Which is why I got the Yushin Little Magic, which is incredibly fluid and smooth. You can turn really fast and it'll just stay fluid and it's super nice. It's really enjoying to turn this puzzle because it just turns very nicely and smoothly. Okay, so here we have all my non-WCA puzzles. Starting us off, we have two uh, different variations of Geocubes. So these are pretty cool ideas. I really like it. It's really cool because you can see this, um, the core as well. It's a really fun puzzle to solve and it's just really cool. Here we have the Rubik's Void, which turns awfully. It cannot corner cut one bit, but it's a really cool novelty cube, I guess, because it doesn't have the center, but it just turns so bad. It's nearly impossible to turn, but it's not. It's a pretty good idea. I, I like it. Next, we just have a regular floppy cube. 
cool idea again. It's a 1x3x3, so pretty much just one layer of a 3x3. It's really cool. You can also like twist the edges here. So if we misalign those, we can twist those. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Here we have the Chi Axis Cube. So this is a really interesting puzzle to turn. I'm still not quite sure which layers it's meant to turn on. I think it's here. No? Oh my gosh. No, it's not there. It's not there either. I'm not quite sure where it's meant to turn, but it's a really cool shape-shifting puzzle. Oh, there we go. It turns there. So yeah, it's a pretty cool shape-shifting puzzle. I have not scrambled this, and I never will. I'll never be able to solve this, but yeah. It's a really cool design. I sort of like this mod. Here we have a Fisher Cube that I bought back in 2017. It's sort of nice. I've solved it a couple times, but I haven't really touched it since. It's a really cool mod. And it turns alright, I guess. But it's not too bad. Great novelty cube. Here we just have a regular Chi 2x2x3. Two by two by turns alright. Again, another cool novelty cube. Uh, it, can't, it can corner cut decently, I guess. It's pretty good. And lastly, we have this, I believe is a Shang Chao Legend 3x3. Three three, which, I was going to get the whole cube covered, but... I didn't quite manage to have the time to. Um, this was at Worlds. I got a lot of people to sign this. Pretty much just all my favorite cubers, very popular ones, great ones. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And I've also got the Worlds logo and the WCA logo on there as well. And the last but not least, we have all of my mini cube. So here we have some mini 3x3s. Two are just some knockoff Rubik's brands. I don't know. We have a Rubik's keychain, which I got from Worlds. It turns pretty bad. But it's a pretty cool keychain. This is the um, the Yushin keychain, which is not that bad. And here is the Chi keychain, which is good because it's it's um what's what's the word pillow. That's right. It's pillowed, so it makes it a lot easier to turn. It turns really nicely too, which is kind of cool. Then we have four one by ones, which I got from the Cubicle. They uh, say the Cubing USA Northeast Championship. So these were just spare one by ones they had. So it's pretty cool. I got those as well. We have a mini 1x2x3, which is a Christmas tree mod. Looks pretty cool, I got this this time last year for Christmas. It's a really cool mod, I really like it. Here we have a 2x2 two two keychain cube, which turns pretty badly. But again, great novelty cube, it's about the same size as this 3x3. Three three. And then lastly we have a Pyraminx and Megaminx transparent 1x1 one one from the cubicle. These look pretty cool, I chose the transparent because it just looks nice. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching my cube collection video. Happy New Year's and Merry Christmas to everyone. We'll see you all soon.